Good afternoon, Miss Janet. Hello. How are you? You. I'm doing great. I am Nikedra. I am actually the provider um, that's here seeing you today, but we are checking your blood pressure because your blood pressure has not been doing the best and we want to make sure that we actually stay on top of your blood pressure. How's that sound? Good. All right, so how long have you had some issues with your blood pressure? Um, maybe the past month or so. The past month? Okay. Yeah. Anybody in your family with high blood pressure? My grandma. Your grandma. Okay. Well, let's take note of the cuff that we're using. We already have you up on the table. Um, what's this in this cup? It's coffee. It's coffee? Have yeah. you been drinking this coffee? Yes. It's good, isn't it? <laughs> yes. All right. How about water? How often are we drinking water? Um, maybe three times a day. Three times a day? So we really should get our water intake up some, about eight glasses a day. Actually, if you drink four of these instead of coffee, <laughs> then you'll get your water intake for the day. Okay. Um, let's look at how you're seated on the table. I see that we have the table um, all the way flat, and then your back is not supported. And how tall are you? Five feet. Five <laughs> feet, because your feet are very far away from the floor. Yeah. But let's see what we get um, for your blood pressure. So this is a manual machine most people call it a dynamap um this is what is used with ease to check blood pressure and so can you talk to me while we're doing this um let's see how long have you started your exercise regimen because we talked about exercise earlier so when did you start exercising maybe two weeks ago two weeks ago yeah okay do you have any goals for your exercise routine um just be more active do it, be more motivated to do it. Okay. Yes. So activity is best. Um, and so we have a blood pressure here of 111 over 71. Pulse of 73. Any idea what a normal blood pressure should be? About 120 and 80. 120 over 80 is normal. So you are actually doing fairly well today. So your exercise <laughs> must be helping. That's exciting. Um, how about your, um, we talked about exercise. Talk about drinking water. We're gonna move you into another chair. Your blood pressure is actually okay. Are you on any medicines for blood pressure? No, not right now. Not right now? Because you're still in the in-between phase, correct? Yes. All right, so let's get you in a better um, place to check your blood pressure. Okay. So what you should do, excuse me, we're gonna put you down. So whenever you're going to get your blood pressure checked, ideally you would be seated in a chair that has a back because you want your back to um, rest. You would be resting for about five minutes. Um, that's no talking, that's no cell phone, that's no trying to get your kids to sit down. It's resting for about five minutes. So you need to be in your exam room before the provider comes, particularly resting. Um, you want your arm, to also have a rest, ideally it's at the level of the heart. So what we're probably gonna do is move this table back up a little bit so you can put your arm up on the table. Is that about where your heart is? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I like actually a manual cuff. This is a little bit awkward situation here, but I just wanted to show you these are still very relevant. Um, and so you wanna make sure that you are using an appropriate size for the arm. This is going to be where you line up with the inside of the arm. So we'll do this here. We already know that Janet's blood pressure is doing well today, so we're not gonna recheck it. Um, but do you see these arrows? I don't know if you can show this on the camera here. You see this arrow here and arrow here. This indicates that we have gotten the correct cuff for Janet. So if your arm is outside the parameter of the arrows, that means you have a cuff that is too small. Using a cuff that is too small will make your blood pressure go up. So it may not be as high as it's indicating, um, but because you're using a cuff that's not appropriately sized, it may show that. So these, may, these Dynamap machines have as well cuffs that they can use. So just be mindful if you are going in to get your blood pressure checked and it's like one size fits all. 
um, that you realize that they can change the size of the cuff in order to get the blood pressure under best control. And you should have uh, different sizes of your manual cuff as well. So with this, you're gonna use a good old fashioned stethoscope. And again, I'm not gonna do this because her blood pressure is controlled, but you use the stethoscope um, to check blood pressure here and somebody manually should be trained to do that. Again, her arm is at level of her heart, so that's a good place for her arm placement. Also, we have taken away her coffee, so you should not have coffee, you should not exercise, and you should not smoke. So a lot of my patients go out for a smoke break while they're waiting for me to come into the room that's not good for their blood pressure. So they shouldn't be smoking at all, but certainly not before I come into the room. So you need about 30 minutes um, for that. If you take medications, you wanna make sure you take your medications before your appointments, um, because most of the time your provider is gonna want to make sure that your medicines are working. Janet says she's not on any medicines, but she started an exercise routine. Diet and lifestyle is helpful for blood pressure. So somebody who's going in between you have a good chance of getting your blood pressure under control if you start those lifestyle modifications. Let's make sure we hit everything that I wanted to talk about. Oh, as you can tell that her feet are now flat on the floor and they should not be crossed. So some people cross their feet at the ankle. Some people cross their legs. You should not have your feet crossed in any way. They should be as flat on the floor as you can get them. So... I think that we are all set. Are you pleased with your blood pressure today, Janet? Yes, I am. I am pleased with it as well. So let's keep up the good work and we'll check it again in a few weeks. Okay, all right. You. Take care. Bye. Bye. <laughs>